Oh, that was great. I like how he's like, oh, it's going to be tough. <laughs> All right. Well, guess what, fellas? We're here on a, an amazing sexual... Wait, an amazing sexual, amazing, exciting Tuesday night stream. And tonight we're doing Destiny 2, The Witch Cream. The Witch Cream? I did say cream. I was trying to say cre queen, The Witch Queen. Oh my gosh, this is not starting out well. Where's Bryce, Ryan? <laughs> Were you, like, what? turning into Scooby-Doo? Roo-roo, Rich Queen. <laughs> it's the Rich Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, Roo, Destiny 2. Okay, uh, shut the fuck up, Jaeger. Here we go. Oh, and for this, too... I was half thinking about getting a new microphone, a new headset for this PlayStation. But I brought one down yesterday to test it out, and I couldn't hear or talk or anything. It just wasn't working. I don't think it's made for PlayStations, but... <sighs> All right, so there's my hunter. Jaegerbox 7111. Here we go. Oh, wait, can't... Do I have to... Oh, it's not letting me. Okay. Let's see. Jaegerbox... 711, Jaeger box, he's not much fun. Uh oh, it's going right into storyline, Ryan. Times of crisis. Is it? People look oh. to the yeah. leaders for answers. Well, but ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all no, no. more questions. Well, Ryan and Jay are already dead. And now, with Mars return, yeah, Jay's like almost a 1400 character now. Where to start. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay, so the ship is flying down. We're back on Mars. This is cool. Ooh. Wow, these graphics are very pretty. Yeah, wait till you see more. Where is she? Graphics are great. Mm. I can only imagine. I can only imagine it'll even look prettier on a PS5. Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids. There's no doubt. How is that? Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal I need more are time. We need or is it either abomination? Oh my god, that is a either abomination. So it's... Secure so, the camp! Okay, now they're trying to secure the camp. Some weird looking... Gun is being oh, yeah. flown away. There's all that stuff. Damn. Where's my character? Wait. You do not exist. It seems there we is have no target. Joshua Turbo, only Zul. Oh, shite. Oh, shit, that's big. Sabathun? Wow. How, uh, how Halo looking? Holy Chan fuck that thing. Chances are though, if if, if I'm doing the storyline mode, they're probably going to link up other people that are Okay, so classic Destiny 2 campaign enjoyed alone or with a fire team or fire oh cool. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I I can do the be be brave or become a legend. You probably want to be brave. Be brave. <laughs> because uh okay. even our professional buddy manga guy didn't want to do legend because he trust me that mission is going to be impossible if you do legend can i can i add you guys you you want to add come with me oh it's yeah, not uh, give me a second here because i'm uh, it's really it's weird. Your matchmaking yeah. josh i'm trying to join your fire team and it says joshua turbo is matchmaking he thinks you're ugly please go away jay that's what that <laughs> message said this is really weird it's yeah. not hey mike mike hey mike drano says don't trust jay yeah i never do um, anyway, I, I always trust you. It says a currently selected activity allows the fire team of up to three players. View your roster tab to invite more friends to your team. Okay. So, what? Okay, here we go. Roster tab, Josh. Yeah, I'm working on it. I can't get I to my re roster tab. reconnect my, my own stream here to my PS4 for some reason without... Uh, this is really weird. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
That's what happens when you link Pornhub to your PS4, Ryan. It won't let me. Know. It won't let me add members. Like it really isn't. No, it says you're matchmaking. Are you in like orbit, or are you I'm doing so something confused. naughty? I guess I'll just launch and then see if I can invite friends later. What? It's not letting me. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so let me invite. Alec, are you still... Oh, shit. Alec, are you still... What? My fire team is set to closed. What the fuck is going on? <sighs> well, I'm confused. We should start... We should change the name of your stream instead of... You know, Josh or Turbo to just troubleshooting games. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, let so me try really this. Cyber, troubleshooting games. Trying to play Destiny 2. But... Let me see if I can invite you now. Okay, I'm waiting. There oh, was one. Invite... Oh! Yay, and the peasants rejoice. And you yes. said, Alec, you're waiting for install, right? Okay, I'm just checking. Cause I... Oh, wow, what? what is this? I don't. Where's my gun? What? What? <laughs> Holy cow, does this look pretty? I know, Wait, isn't that? Crazy. Yay! I bet you looks nice on your PS5. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Guardian, wow. Eris and I are establishing hidden operations near the cradle. What's your location? And we are officially kind of streaming of on my stream too. Oh, well, hello, Ryan. Tough man, hello. dark dork father. I almost said tough, tough man, Schwartzman, dork father. Tough man, Schwartzman, the greatest wrestler in Jay's mind that I ever played. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, call into the hotline, the Ryan report is running right now, so go ahead and give him a call and tell him you can't come into work tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I got my phone right next to me. We will go live with you. It's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, so it I see you're on. on. Yeah, like on Friday. <laughs> on Friday, Ryan fired one of his employees live on stream. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Josh clipped it. <laughs> yep. It was pretty amazing. So do we wait for Jay, too? No, I'm okay. coming behind you. Okay, we can't bring out our little bike things. That's little... No, not here. No, you're not supposed to. Okay. Well, it's a big enough area. I think you do. To see the beauty of Mars and these cornfields <laughs> and the red right. rocks and the red. Yeah, right. It's very pretty. Dang, this is awesome. Uh oh, I see some bad. It reminds me of that strike we played that made us fall in love with the game, where I shot that missile at the giant freaking sandworm's mouth. Yep, I remember that. Good times. Jaeger box, ace one one eight four eight. Right, right, right. No wrestling. Okay. All right, I got the component. Okay. Activating the launcher. Yep. Jump through this guy. Go, 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 go. What's happening? Go through the launcher. Okay. Through the fire circle. This is so much easier with. <laughs> Multiple people already. So, there's gonna be some platforming, and it's pretty fun platforming. Yeah. Well, I like fun platforming. Gee, that's a nice looking bow staff you have there on your back. That is the gleave you get in your second mission. Cool. Okay. Bring me to the console. Let's see how this cannon works. I heard Sabathon went into hiding thanks to the Awoken Queen, Mara So why is she yeah. showing herself again so soon? Yep. Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. Oh no, really? Oh, 
Yeah, like uninstall or get a get a refund, and then that's so dumb. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh. Yeah. Do you have it on computer, Alex? Holy shit! Because our buddy, uh... Our buddy oh, Ben had the too. same problem. Resurrect me. I'll respawn. Yeah, I just respawned. Just I'm away. Away. Way, uh, <laughs> way away. We're not that far away. Never mind. Do, do, Go back to hell! Do go to hell. You go to hell, you no. die. You die. All right. Okay, got it. We need fuel, power, and projectile. You'll be the projectile first. I know what you're thinking, but trust me, this will work. Yeah. It's always work. Let's start with opening the fuel lines. Jesus. I get that. Yep, I've done some things like that too. That may hey, be it because Ben bought his on on uh, computer and it didn't transfer over to his uh, character on the Xbox. Oh, for real? Yeah. So he oh. has to buy all the seasons individually on the Xbox now. That doesn't make any sense. That's pretty stupid. Wowie Kazowie! The AI, I told you the AI is nuts now, isn't it? It's pretty crazy. I'm oh down. shit. Okay, I need that. Oh, I'm, I'll get you, Ryan. Oh no, I'm gonna be down too. Well, that's fun. We are right next to each other. Look at that, we look like boots. Right, well, we're, if we're gonna die, we'll die next to each other. That's the plosin. That's the plosin. I like the music. The music's very nice. It's very. Yeah. You know what I added to my Spotify playlist today, Jay? Um, Das Wonder Kid. Not Das Wonder Kid. And what did you say, Alf? Ooh, almost, but not quite. Uh, the almost the entire Batman Returns soundtrack by Danny nice. Elfman. Oh, it's so well, you good. Know what, you know what song I've had stuck in my head for honestly like three days is uh the Adventure Time end credits. How does that go, Jay? Okay. Come along with me. Oh yeah. We'll take a seat. Oh shit. Alright. I I have heard that one. What you doing with the keys? What are you talking about? Well we gotta get there's more baddies that are gonna spawn for the other side's uh wrench. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say wrench? Oh, I, I said you wench. Oh, I'm down. You wench. Thanks. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Wait, I, I got you. I thought I got you. I don't know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've got the wrench. What do I do with it? Bring it Put up to the. Bring it up to the hole. Yep. Oh, Put I it see. In the hole. I'm. I'm not very good at this. This is my first time. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not. Go be gentle. Oh shit! Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. Six kids that you have you don't something. say that it's the first time for anything. Well. 
I forgot. I I censored myself because we're on stream, but. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me, Josh? It's like one of the first times I've censored myself when I could have made a joke about the soup can dick. I am very proud of you. Good job. Very good. Good. Well done. <laughs> How do you get the entire meat bazooka in your pants? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah, we gotta go in. Gotta go in here. Uh, I gotta take care of this. This is tough. You guys did this by yourself or just with random other people? I, I did this by myself. myself. Yeah. And, it and this sucked. isn't even where I got hung up on. <laughs> it's no. the craziest oh, thing. This, this is where you got hung up? No, no. Oh. I got hung up with the, uh, the yeah, other room. This is only like a fourth of the way through the mission. Yeah, I know. Where do I put it in? Here? Yeah. In there? Is it full? Uh, in I don't the full right here, Josh. I don't see anything in here. It doesn't let oh, me. Oh, you have to go on the other, other side? side. Yeah. Over here, bro. Okay. Oh, Over cool, here, man. Cool, man. Cool. Go with Christ, bro. Cool. Go with Christ, bro. Come along with me. Well, I've seen a few episodes of Adventure Time, and I like it. Can you answer me why does Rick always have, like, green ooze coming out of his mouth? Is he, like, an alien? <laughs> Maybe. He he has... Uh, st usually it's just explained because he's always drunk and he drools a lot. But... Uh, there's lots of little sn snippets of s uh, secrets and Easter eggs on that show that I can't quite explain to you yet. Like, honestly, there's some really messed up stuff that if you decide you want to continue watching it, you're going to ask me a million questions. Yeah. A million questions. Here we go! Alright, now we can go down the hole. You're going to stick your hand down the hole. Put your hand in my can. Like okay, here's some platforming. Boom. What? On in here? Yep. Yep. Dang, man. Ham, girl. Maybe we're the bull. There's a lot of platforming in this. It's pretty cool. Did you get to the part yet, Ryan, where you have to shoot the cancer polyps to turn the lights on? Yeah. Well, I took some damage from that. All right, there's a rally banner, motherfuckers. Oops, sorry about the swear. Hey, Josh. <laughs> no hey. one heard you. Hey, Alec. Uh, I just figured something we out. Need two overrides What's that? To get the lift to living. So I was Cabal double engineers checking the stories on my mic, and I listened, and uh, my voice wasn't popping up. Uh-oh. But I went to the settings for the party, and there was a thing to allow your voice to be shared that I did not check. Oh! Alec. Ugh. Well, hold on. Hold on. He, okay. He screwed up our entire thing. No, 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 no. This is good because now he's on mine and it's working now, right? That's great. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> here's the thing. This is why I thought that it was me. And this is why one of the reasons why I started a whole new chat. Because I really did think it was either the chat settings for the other group or just me in general. On so Jay. On... I assume you guys all are. Wait, is everybody else's voices on? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that is uh, maybe. Does. Probably. Okay, we gotta we gotta kill the uh, engineer. Yeah, I know. Um. Anyway, the reason why I thought it was me was because Jay said on his stream, Alex's voice does come on on the last stream that we did together. That's why I thought it was 100% me. I was like, I don't know what to do. I got one of the looks. I don't think we were at a party, like a PlayStation party. Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. Oh my god, come on. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. 
Do we need? Do we still need one more engineer here? No, oh, I thought I killed them. Oh, then holy we shit! Back. What do we gotta do? Oh, maybe we do. Whoa! I'm on fire. He's shooting up. He's on fire. We're ready to leave. Get ready, ready to leave. Are you gonna start wearing like basketball jerseys since your new favorite show is Bel Air? And like workout shorts. Since you, Alec, you know Ryan lived in South Central Philadelphia. I did not know that. Yeah, I did. I was there for a week. <laughs> <laughs> it was life changing. Okay. Wait, what's in South Central? I was on the South Side. I wasn't South Central. I, I don't know where to jump off. Are you guys down in the hole? No, you no, ride. Just jump in it. You're right down in a hole. Ride the elevator and then come up to me. Feeling so slow. Jump there. Jump there. Okay, there's Ace. Where's Josh? Down in a hole. I'm shooting at you. I want you to, to fly. Do, 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 do. Pickle friction. This is uh, destiny. Too. Jump, jump, Josh. Why? What? What? Jo Am okay, I okay? Come around to this side. Yep. Oh, rabbits. Because you would have been crushed by the ceiling. This, this is the uh, wrath of the witch queen on Destiny Two. It is the new expansion that just went live today, so we're playing it tonight, and it's really fun. That's what this is, brother. Or are you talking about my singing? Is that that singing is amazing? Pickle two twenty. Time to reload, Guardian. Do 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 do. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Put a pickle down. Put it on the jump case. Down down. What's uh? What's what's going on? To my knowledge, right? no guardian has ever been on Sabathun. Come down the hall. Turn my TV on. What is that? I think she's fighting aboard. Well, she's so weak after that encounter with Queen Mara that she's getting clumsy. I'm going for the ladder, but I wouldn't bet on it. Three nerds minus one because I'm downloading Still in Spirit. That's great. Oh my God, the door's closing on me. Why? The fun. What the hell's happening? Did you no, I didn't get you through. Should... No, we jumped in too fast. <laughs> oh. I'm outside. They spawned me outside. Like a hundred miles behind you guys. Where <laughs> oh. we start where we started the frickin' mission. Unbelievable. I'm I'm out. I'm I'm not gonna Oh look at there he is. There's his little Jaeger box down there. You see that? <laughs> no way. Really? It spawned me at the beginning. Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's cute. It's great. Where okay, were we? Future, where were we even... Next time we do that, I think we all have to wait till we're in the gun. In the gun? Yeah, because you have to get shot out of that cannon to get up here onto her ship. Well, this is... well he's, he should respond when we get in here, right? But I don't like. There's a there's a lot left before we're at like a a boss fight. We can keep going to see. That's impossible. And so I miss have I missed the entire opening. That's super cool. You missed the opening, so you didn't see them talking about the gun. To wait for a moment when her intentions are clear. No, I'm talking about if you guys go forward now, then I'd miss like all the storylines. Oh my god, you're like on a whole nother fucking ship. Yeah, you gotta get shot out of the cannon. I don't think Sabaton will give us free time, Ikora. Well, where is it? I can't get back down there unless I die, buddy. And I, I think they'll respawn me on this. Is the checkpoint accurate for you, Josh? I can't believe it. it. It put me back at the beginning of this whole thing. I don't know where the cannon wow. thing even is. What's, I guess what's the white arrow pointing you at? I guess it's pointing me at, uh, in here? Oh, down this hole? Yeah, go down in the hole. No, you gotta go up the hole. Remember we go up? Yeah, I know. Up that elevator. Now I'm doing the platforming part with the gears. 
I had to go down the hall. Oh. It looks really weird down in here, though. Hole, and I don't know if I can be saved. Hey, that looks pretty good. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you put the country and western into it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he does like two types of music. Both kinds of music. Both, both kinds, kinds of, yeah. of music. I like both kinds of music. Country and West. Country and West. Sweet mother of God. So when do I get out of this? Pretty soon. Um, so remember we fought in that room for those two engineers. Then we platformed up. Yep. And you go around like that catwalk type thing outside. And then you jump across into like the chamber, like the ammo chamber, and that's when yep. you jump in the barrel. Yep. And it'll shoot you up by us. Yep. I'm working on it. We're almost there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now I'm going down a hole again, sort of. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, now I'm going down this way. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is a nice little uh, trip down memory lane. I've got a terrible memory, so this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. At least your viewers are getting a hint or a, a good look at the very first stage. I don't understand why the God blessed. Um, wow, this I'm going. Holy shit! I got I got shot through a cannon. Oh, like what the hell was that? That like rumbled everything. Yeah, that rumbled That's... me too. That's the cannon, I think. Oh, oh, oh. That was fun. There. Okay, I'm back here by you, buddy. I saw it, buddy. Hey, how's it going? All right, let's go this way. Let's okay. let's go. The, let's go rave. rave, rave. <laughs> Offering a perch? You offered him a perch? I did I offer the perch. I like perch. Raid that what? study stiltskin. Yeah. Raid, raid. <laughs> well, what the hell's a study stiltskin? I don't know. <laughs> you just Have you ever seen to... College University, Alec? No. Ooh, that's oh, one of those things. Pretty damn funny. It's pretty. It is pretty great. Yeah. Okay. Platforming here, guys. Let's go down this yeah. way. Yeah. You see what? that platform there I'm shooting at? Yeah. That's where we want to go. This seems feasible. Well, that didn't seem so bad. Left. And up. Left. Lefting, left a room. <laughs> Bad guys, that means we're going the right way. There's the moth, stay away from those Freddy's. Oh, is that new? <clears throat> Let me triple check real quick the stream to make sure that all four of our voices are popping up, just so you guys. Oh, biscuits and um, on the mic. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Oh, Jesus, you scared the crud out of me. <laughs> I thought I was being attacked. I'm like, what's going on? What? You guys. What the hell, man? All right, here we go. Your sword is either not loading for me, Ryan, or just looks really cool. It looks like... God, it's... It's just how it looks. Your really? sword is either not loading for yeah. me, Ryan, or just looks really cool. It looks like... God, it's... It's just... Okay. Uh, just... Alex, say something. What? Hello? 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 Yep, okay. We got all four of us then. That is super duper cool. All right. I swear, like, I woke up in the middle of the night one day, one night, and thought, <laughs> I should. <laughs> really? and, I'm sorry. And thought, and thought, I should check the party chat settings, and then I went back to sleep. <laughs> and then I just remembered it now. Or, well, 10, 15 minutes ago, whenever that was. Well, good. Well, good. 
All right. God damn! It was my fault is, the whole time. Do this is not the easiest part. This is the part that took me like an hour the first time I did it by myself. Yep. Well, shit. Okay, we gotta get those tribute bears. Yeah. And there are explodey guys that come. Super ultra mega explodey guys. Flying buttress. Hey, shall I see you? Boy, this is so much easier when there's multiple people here. I know, and they're not all swarming you. Yeah. Okay, I should have two. Is that a tribute bear there? What's a what's a tribute what's a tribute bear? They're glowing white. And we need to collect what they drop so that uh, we can open that gate. Okay. Like this wizard is one here. There we go. We just need one. One more tribute. <laughs> Mike, hmm. you can't see my facial expressions, but sometimes I wonder. Sometimes so I just what. What, what what happened there, Jay? Why why did you like have a seizure? Or what was going on? No. <laughs> Involved a meat bazooka and a tuna can. Well, and a tuna can. Tuna yeah. can. Oh, was that it? Did I get a I got a tribute. I got a tribute. Yeah. Okay, okay, go by the door and deposit it. Right this way. Yep. Right, yep. Right on the floor. Now we can go forward. Shot yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. I did not mean to say it like that. You were such a jerk. We need to find Sabbath. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Mom. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. <laughs> Why? Okay, kill that moth before it kills us. There we go. All right, this way, fellers, we got to do some platform. Where are you? Over here. We got a platform up here. Oh. Yeah, Shiza. Fuck that moth got me. Yay, there we go. Yay, ready? We gotta jump all the way across this. Okay. This is perfect. Are all of us over here? Yep. Okay. Chandelier here? This is where we're yeah. aiming. Okay. okay. on the other ledge. <laughs> cool. Cool. Made it. This is a very pretty area. Wow. Yeah. Isn't it? It's nice. Oh, that was a moth. It was. Damn. What's all the way down there? Was oh, that where we were? Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right on. Okay, we're gonna go over by the dude. There's like several mods. Okay, here we go. Did I get it? You got it. Come on over, come on over, baby. Bring the Lou Band. I'll make you a ham sandwich with Lou. Come or... on and slam. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't need that because I already got one, but that one you two need to pick up. Pick it up, Josh. I got it. The artifact of the Black Fleet. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. What's it doing on the ship? Pick it up, pick it up. We should bring it back to Ikora. 
That is the thing you use to make this uh, leave thing here. Oh, cool. Well, there's okay. plenty of baddies coming. I think they look like aliens from the Sigourney Weaver classic Alien and Aliens and Alien 3 and Alien <laughs> That's a lot of classics. Actually, I think of that series, the first Ooh. two are the absolute best. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Three was... Yeah. yeah. Three was weird, and Alien Resurrection was... I, I didn't like it. It's interesting, because the first time I saw it, I thought it was really good, but the now whenever it comes up again, I'm always like, ooh, that's, that's not... Three was done by uh, Fincher, which is weird, because Fincher's pretty good, but Three was like, oh, okay. I think they tried to make it too much of a psychological horror thriller, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. It was not. I haven't seen those movies in so long. I need, I keep putting them to the top of my list, like a uh, watch this movie list, and then I'm like, nah, mm. some other day. Because if I watch the first one, I gotta watch the second one, and then you know, right? Do we have everybody. It's like it's like not six yet. hours of my day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Um, no, I need to come back up. How did I get up there? Go around the side. Here, I'll come back down by you. Around the outside. Around the outside. Hold on, I, I, I can do it. Ooh, what the fuck? I'm, I'm coming, Jay. Jay, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Here we go. We got some more platforming. Platforming. We're resurrecting Ryan. Platforming. Just in time to resurrect Orion. This man just can lick a ball sack. Wow. Go away. Indeed. 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 Present them. Come on, Chrysanthemum. You know, I never use my finisher unless I'm supposed to for a, a bounty. A, a bounty, yeah. I think Dude, I just... Yeah. I just <laughs> forget it's there. Is this, is Josh this didn't was... know. <laughs> that was awesome when I was trying to explain that to you, Josh. Oh, shit. I was so mad, because I thought you were that. just... I thought you were just punking me, or you're, like, telling me I was stupid or something. You see the little circle, Josh? What little circle, Josh? There's no circle. Is this one of these J-isms? These pretend circles? Yeah, he was like trying to explain to me how to do finishers. And I'm like, Jay, you fucking moron. There's no circles above their heads. When, <laughs> what are you talking about? Are, am I being punked? What are you talking about? And then the one time I saw it, I was like, oh, how have I never noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I can be so dumb sometimes. It's great. Whoa. <laughs> Did I hit the wall that hard? Something. Do, 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 there are reports of Sabathur trying to capture Void Light from dead guardians. Okay. Maybe this is related. Down in the hole, man. Alright, down in the hole. Down in a hole. Oh, we're gonna do this song over and over here. Look at, doesn't that thing look beautiful? Do you know what I think it looks like? Wow. Uh, I'm guessing the vagina? Yes. Oh. Thanks, HR Geiger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's a fucking story for you. Pardon my French. Um, I love so it. when I was like, when I was like 12, oh, I was at a garage sale, that was seven. and oh, I ended up buying this like busted old Pentium 3 Dell nice. workstation. Oh, that was like my first like decent computer. Anyway, he went like five bucks for it. He also had signed copies of HR Geiger's like Necronomicon and another one. Like, wow. He had fucking Shit. coffee table books. And he wanted like 20 bucks for each, but I didn't have the money for it. And my parents were like, why would you want a weird coffee table book full of, uh, that? Because <laughs> it's oh my God. priceless now? Okay, yeah. so this is, he just came back, that, that, that ball, Josh, when we kill him next? Sorry, Alec, I, yeah. No, go ahead, go ahead. 
Josh needs to touch that ball. So this is the, one, the enemy guardian. So when you kill him, you need to be up here because you have to learn how to crush his ghost. Crush his ghost. His mag. Because he has a mag that's going to keep respawning him unless you kill it. Okay. No oh. Huh. Okay. Where is it? He's up here. Come up to and do the finisher to it. You see that, right? Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Because I saw the little ball above its head. I Just like you told me. This. You caught the snitch. Oh. I caught the snitch. <laughs> oh. And then you squashed him. What has she done? Oh. Got so your parents didn't understand like what you wanted with like all these like horror sci-fi porn drawings. Well, they were just like, why would we want to spend twenty dollars on this awkward, weird art book for you? And I was like, yeah, I get it, but. And then we get home and check whatever like rudimentary version of eBay existed at the early 2000s. Probably eBay. And they were going. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was shitty, and there was yeah. only a couple that were actually ever sold at the time, and they were like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars, and this yeah. one was signed. Wow. And so we go back to the garage sale, and they're fucking gone. Of course. No. God, oh, damn it. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, HR Geiger stuff, that's one of the rarest signatures, because he was like, uh, like Lennon, like he was a recluse, and he didn't understand, like, yeah. like fame, like he didn't understand why people thought he was famous, so he wouldn't sign shit. Wow. And like, insult to injury, I was at the garage sale by myself, oh. with, my, with my parents, and I got home and told my brother about him, who was a huge Alien fan. And wow. he he was like, why didn't you buy them? And I was like, I didn't have the money. And he's like, why didn't mom and dad buy them? And I was like, well, they didn't want to. And he's like, oh. we have to go get them. <laughs> and no, we didn't get them. Dang. Why didn't you steal them? <laughs> yeah. And the, the guy... Tell him to hold it for you. Yeah. Dude, yeah. The, the son that was there, he was probably in his 20s or something. Uh, he like told us how important they were and how he was selling them for a really cheap price and my parents were like mm, I don't know jeez oh that's too bad man. that's too bad yeah oh sure oh sure ooh an ogre tribute bearer that's so cool. My brother <laughs> does have a full collection of the original Mars Attacks trading cards. You what? are kidding me. Yes. Un From the unchecked, 50s? Yes, unchecked checklist and everything. Oh my god, those are so valuable. I'm jealous actually because that was a cool freaking set. Oh, it's so fucking good. And we got them at a garage sale. We were just buying like trading, like uh, baseball cards, football cards, whatever, like someone would rubber band like a grip of them for like 50 cents and we just bought whatever we, we wanted I'm cards. Here. You have to have it. And, and like in this pack of random baseball cards was this set of... What the fuck is going on? <gasps> awkward ass Mars Attacks shit. We're like, okay, that's cool. Right? That's really cool. That's and we incredible. tried to sell them to the comic shop and the guy's like, at the time, he's like, these are worth a... Two, three thousand dollars. We can give you like three hundred for them. Sorry. Huh? Wow. You know, of course, it's like it. You know, pawn shop prices or whatever. And we we're like, eh, I think we'll hold on to them. But that was twenty-five years ago. Holy cow. Well, they are probably worth more now. Probably a lot more now. I. The only thing that I have a value, I, I have ring worn chaos underpants. <laughs> oh. Those are those are worth a pretty penny, pretty penny. The penny, so pretty penny. You've acquired it, your first yeah. aspect. Awesome. Aspect? Oh, What's an aspect, like Jay? So you're gonna have to equip. What's that? What? What? It, what? It, what happened? Was that about? Was that pornography? <laughs> Sorry, I opened Facebook and uh, it was some ad for a 
some pharmaceutical. Uh huh. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I don't know what it was. Well, I'll, I'll open it back up. Oh, I closed it. <laughs> um, so you'll have to equip your the blue the stasis uh, power set, and then you do the triangle to go to go into it, and it'll explain how to do all that stuff to you. Hmm. Hmm. Blue stasis. What do you? Oh, you mean like in my? Oh, okay, okay. The arc strider thing and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Because they, this is their little like gimmick they did to try to get people to use the stasis power set since people thought it was nerfed in the last expansion. I'm confused. What okay. aspects are equipped in your subclass menu? So Inspector. you go up. Okay, you got your character screen up, right? Correct. Okay, so go to the diamond that. Yep. You know, so you go to dark. Okay, then press triangle. Yep. And it should say abilities on the left and aspects on the right. I don't see that actually. I let me see what I, I should put in my. Well, yeah, I'm down. I mean, it, it's like glowing. In mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Doo, doo, doo. Where are you guys? Staring at a wall. Oh, he's down in a hole. Down in a hole. Okay, you're in the... Oh, shit. Now I have to sit through these nine ads that Ben <laughs> said. <laughs> Sorry. Between your ads and your, like, Nightbot banning Alec. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I made sure to fix all of that, by the way. Okay, I'll do it again, too! Okay, Josh, hit circle, go back. You're in, you're in the wrong ability. Okay. Go back to the your main screen where okay. So up on the to okay, you see that little tri no go up. You see that little triangle to the right of the one that's highlighted. Okay, now you just exit it out. I believe that's a diamond. Or the diamond, yes, sorry. Go back to your character screen. Mm-hmm. Okay, you see the little diamond next to the big one that's flashing. Yes. Click on that little diamond. Oh, Okay. Take your cursor. There you go. There you go. Oh, Click on that. Jesus Click on that. Okay, I got it. There I got it. Go. I got now it. Press now press triangle on it. Okay, <laughs> you're 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 a solid ten seconds behind me. I did that already. Oh. Just pretend. Just pretend I'm already ahead. Okay, now I see it. Aspects and abilities. I got it. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I cleared the room. Equip your new aspect to modify your subclass. Okay, so I'm clicking on it. It's not letting me do anything. You might not have it yet. What's what? the blood? What? Why? What? what? It's an arrest. Oh my goodness. Because I didn't get one till the second mission. You might oh not God. have it yet. Rusty. Equip the fragments in a fragment slot to modify. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't like take away my triple jump, does it? No. Who's making no. burritos? Nobody's making burritos. I'm making sleepy time tea. Okay, now I'm time. back to the back to the game. Let's follow Ryan. Ryan cleared the path. <laughs> right back. All right, buddy. While we're while we're uh, <laughs> arguing about diamonds and triangles, click the triangle. Oh, uh, dumbass! I think that's it. Tell a diamond. It's her. How did you do it? Dumbass. How did you dumbass. find the strength to destroy something so like yourself? You guys are doing storyline stuff? No, she just no. They're just talking. I'm in. A, I'm waiting for you guys here in the hallway. Okay, Where well, are you, I... Josh Jaeger box? <laughs> Where is the Jaeger? Oh, good grief. He's I'm way level, back here. I'm leveling up. Hold, hold on, I got a whole bunch of items and stuff. I want to. Make myself slightly less weak. Just, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Running back through the garden. That's right. I'm just rolling through this garden here. Okay. Hi, everybody. All right. Cool. Hi. Hey, Where are we going? Just, just follow me, Richard Fingercat. 
Oh, Dicky. <laughs> Alright, we're going up to that uh, opening. The only thing on my mind was Blank Willow. <laughs> Dawn? Dawn Willow? <laughs> Dawn Willow. Ha! Oh, that's right. W A and B C. All right, you ready to fight here? Let's play some. Hold on, let me upgrade my sword. <laughs> Give me a second. Here. Because this is the this is the final battle. This is oh. the final battle. That cave's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Nice gun. That's a nice looking gun on your back. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Ooh, shit, it's a nice fucking idea. sniper. Finally. Was I supposed to do that? No, because that just act. Whatever you hit just activated it. Oh, I have a cool sniper rifle now, so I'm pretty freaking happy. I remember when, way back in the day when we were playing a lot, um, I had a good sniper rifle and then I lost it. I think I just fucked it up. I fucked it all up. Fucked it up. Oh, Jesus. Gotta kill some guys and then she'll come out. Talked about testicles. See, I'll save my super for a bit. Super, super, super fly. Right, who's dead? Ryan Bear. Ryan, who well, else dies? Me? Lots of times? Most of the time? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We all die. We're all limp dicks. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I wish my sword was a little more powerful. <laughs> Look at this one, Dick. Floppy sword. <laughs> Put away the floppy sword there. Yes. Oh. Uh oh. What the hell is this thing? That is a mom. That's like the big okay, mom? There she is. Wait, is this Peacekeeper oh, with fighting shit. butterflies? Ooh, I killed her. Yes. Come on. You're strong. That was too easy. What, what happened, going? Josh? What did you hit? Why did you hit the tetherbound thing, Josh? I didn't do anything. You had I'm kidding, this is story life. Jesus. <laughs> I can't move. I can't jump. I can't do anything. I know because those angels of death are yelling at us right now that are above us. Oh no, now I, I feel like I'm Wow, I just had an aura. That was really cool. Yay. Chapter you know that, one. Triumph like that completes. blacking out scene kind of reminds me of the time I was uh, hiking the mountains of Japan. I dropped some acid and wound up it. I woke up in a hot tub full of naked Japanese business. I love it. Tell us more. How'd that go? It was, it was fun. It was very calming, I would assume. Very relaxing. And you know, I'm like not going to... It sounds like it would be. It sounds like it would be very relaxing. The best part of that story is I shaved my taint that day. Good. Well, that's definitely something you want to do. Good. <laughs> if you ever want, if you ever want to, or while on the acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I'm glad I did it before the acid. <laughs> if right, you ever want to, on. oh, if you ever want to feel more confident about your own self, just go to Japan and sit with a bunch of old men in a onsen. Uh, Guardian? Yeah. Guardian, do you read me? The small penis. Here, I oh, We're penis. Back on Mars. Back. From Congratulations. 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 I know, we should have checked in. Sit there but grinning. we had Savathun in our sights. That might have what been is your uh, status at Alec? I couldn't miss it. What? what? What's your status like of your download? So it said three hours left for like an There's hour. So something uh, else. 
before we left the ship. We ran into you know, I honestly had a lot of problems it had a ghost earlier today downloading. Like, it, it kept wanting to reinstall, like, system updates on my PlayStation. I had to keep logging, like, closing out of the game. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible. So I'm sure I won't be able to join you in the game tonight, but any old damn time you guys want to play. Hell yeah. Mm. I'm definitely down for that. And I'll, and I'll catch up through this storyline, of course. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty cool. That's the third time I've played that, and it's, it's fun every time. Mm. That's awesome. Oh, boy. Summon. The witch oh boy! High pride oh, of cunning oh and lies. Oh, High there we go. High pleasure tells us she was born on a hostile, hostile far-off far planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful short, life. life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power. In exchange for endless and it speaks for itself. From this, the hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. Ooh, very pretty. For untold ages, I just realized I've been sitting here listening to the PlayStation menu, like ambient <laughs> music this entire time. <laughs> oh, I can't stand that. Can't you change it it's though? It's like it's calming, Sabathu but also. I'm, I'm not really fear, not course, happy about it anymore. Yeah, it gets it gets a little old. You can change that though. You can go to settings and download new ones. You can download new themes and stuff. What? I just yeah, you know. Yeah, SNK has a theme that's like it, it's like the old Neo Geo, and um, it sounds like you're playing King of Fighters. It's like the music's like um, and it's like does the whole Neo Geo sound effects and stuff. I, I had that on mine for a long time. I loved it. Yeah, you can just go to settings and like install new set uh, themes and stuff. And then for PS4 at least, I don't know if PS5 has that yet. Maybe it does. I don't even check interesting. that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, there's a Destiny there... theme too. Is there any? Oh god, here we go. End in sight to uh, this like. To like them not sending out PS5s, like has, have they released any info? If well, <laughs> the world at large, I'm pretty sure just... they would love to sell as many PS5s as they could. So uh, yeah, I don't that... think there's any, any. And somehow they've still sold a fuck ton of them. I know. It's like you can't get them, but they've what? <laughs> you guys yeah. are selling them to scalpers. Okay, you guys got to come up to the cliff here on top and talk to this broad. We have to. Okay. You have to, otherwise you won't progress and you won't get your Gleave. <laughs> Maybe I don't want my Gleave. Everyone's just a Gleavin. Really? <laughs> yeah, you should have seen this coming. Ugh. What, the yawns? Yeah, my brain's overheating. Light-bearing high, complete with their own ghosts. Whoa. I should have seen this coming. But how? Well, We're in a new paradigm now, Guardian. Where the boundaries between are becoming increasingly blurred. Especially between what's right and what's wrong. If I had been in your place... Do, 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 to be honest, do, do, I don't know what would have done. But there's no what use to do that. Let's assess what we do now. I, see that's, I don't know, that's the British Bulldogs theme song. Oh. One that might explain why Savathun decided to return alongside Mars. According to your ghost to what, 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 I'm usually asked how the weather just is down. So happened to return with Mars. And yesterday, Go take a look. it I'll was like 70 something. And then today and for the rest of the week, it's going to be like 10. Well, it, it has been like 10. That's gross. See, there is nothing normal about any of this. 
there is nothing normal. People say it's weather. It's there's nothing normal. Because I don't remember in my lifetime temperatures fluctuating by 50 degrees. Yeah. It's a little crazy. That's for shizzle. Our light is stronger than that. Like I went out to get my mail this afternoon. And I just put on a hoodie. And like halfway down the driveway, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's rough. Yep. What, did you, you guys got snow up in, up by you guys, right, Josh and Ryan? Uh, we're getting yeah. snow. We, this is the weirdest thing. So the weather here, we have been honestly puckering our buttholes and waiting for this nasty, humongous storm. They said on Monday night we were going to get 6 to 16 inches of snow all the way from Monday night until Wednesday morning. And so I'm like, okay. And it said 45% chance of 16 inches and 45% chance of 6 to 10 inches. And I'm like, okay, well, that means there's a 10% chance that we won't get that much. Well, I, I, I think we maybe got an inch, maybe an inch and a half, at least, <laughs> at least at my house. And it is, there's no snow. There, nothing's happening right now. It was like flusters and, and, you know, little sprinkles of snow here and there, but otherwise it's been perfectly fine. And it was terrible in Milwaukee today. Yeah. Like, like an ice storm all day long. Yeah. That's not good. Whoa, what's down here? Guardians Whoa. have been combing Mars since it reappeared. No way they would have missed this. It's definitely new. You don't know Re Freddy. Res resonance machine? Everything went black. Oh, shit. Did I do something? Sorry. I don't know what so I did. did you go down to the residence machine? Yeah. Oh, that's not a big deal. You're supposed to. Oh. Okay. Well, I said so why, invest... But why did everything go black? It said investigate, so I clicked it. Oh, are you doing... Are you getting it's... a storyline? I don't know. I don't know why mine went black. Well, it's thinking now. It just said investigate. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I thought that was just the stuff to look at. Oh, what did I do? Ryan, did you do something? Ryan, did you pay did the electric nothing. bill? Did you pay the electric bill? Ryan. I did. I did. Actually, the money just came out of my check. Whoa, now I'm getting strong. Oh, yeah. It's, it's Josh's cutscene. Jocelyn's. Wait, are you seeing my character or your own characters? I'm seeing my own, but you triggered the cutscenes. Okay. So this is the machine where you can forge, like, all these custom weapons that are coming up in this season. Oh, is this my glaive? Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, that's fun. Is this going to be Ryan's glaive, too, or does he already have one? Um... Oh, I didn't accomplish. I didn't finish this yet, so I don't think I'm gonna get a glaive. Oh, you know, it's the main guy. The Enigma. Visit oh, the relic. Oh, I got a relic. So I got my relic. So. Ooh, how fun! Oh. God Access bless you. The enclave. Yep. 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 Oh. Uh -huh. Alec, we got our asses handed to us last night in uh, Fall Super, Guys. What is it? No, the oh, Dodge my Ride. God. Yeah, Knockout City. Alec, have you ever heard of Knockout City? I have not. So it's basically Ultimate Dodgeball, but you can have teams up to like four on four or three on three. We, we played three on three. And, uh, oh, my God, did we get smoked. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah, I'm mildly familiar with that. It's, it's fun. I think it was pretty fun. So now we shape it. Is this like... Oh my god, is this crafting and shit? Mm-hmm. Oh god. Oh no. It's pretty cool though, actually. Is it? Not gonna it? lie, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Just not a crafting person. Sweet sorrow. I'm not super worried, but I'm mildly worried about learning all this new shit. Yeah, there's a little bit going on. I made a weapon shape, though, apparently. 
I can refine it later if I want to, but it's the Enigma, the Glaive. That's kind of cool. That's right, Josh. So that it's sitting in here now? Oh, cool. Oh, what? What's that? Ooh, 1380. Holy shit, is that powerful. Yep. Oh, You'll that's my glaive. Time. That's my glaive then, huh? Yep. Oh, You'll wait. Up to 14 in, no, in no time, bro. I'm 1361 now. Wow, that's awesome. Are all my weapons gonna... Level the hell up. I think so. Mine, mine all were thirteen fifty or better now. The the minimum power now, Alec, is thirteen fifty. So you're gonna start at thirteen fifty. Right, but does that bring all of my existing weapons and everything like right up to? Everything is gonna be at thirteen fifty. Okay, cool. It should. If there's any weapons that are not included in this season, though, there might they might leave them behind, and you won't be able to upgrade them anymore. But I don't think that'll be anything to worry about. Yeah. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's cool. So it's a melee attack weapon that is keeps you in first person view. That's really interesting. Hmm. Hmm. What's up with this noise? See you, oh, okay. Oh, shit, see you. Wait, what? What the hell? Ruinous element. Interesting. Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, did I, did I lose continuity? I don't think so. You lost okay. so much. You lost so much constitu constitu. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you lost so much continuity that we're gonna call you the Alien franchise. Well, everything went quiet. Everything went quiet, Joshua. The hell was? Good God, psych, Joshua. Yeah, you did. Hey, I'm girl. Sweet, hot day. Does, does so, the Enigma have a mystery and a riddle inside of it, or what? <laughs> You're as blind as a bat! Boop, Edward. Boop. Edward, Edward Enigma. Enigma. By the way, so Jay, you were talking about your um, wrestling world and how... Cody Rhodes is uh, maybe heading to the WWE. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he actually is. Either it's a really crazy elaborate work, or he actually is because the WWE made a hint at it, I guess, last night on Raw. Because Edge said that he wants to face someone at WrestleMania. That's going to really, really be the match of his dreams. Ah, uh, and then really? yep. And then on Pat McAfee today, today of all times, I don't know if anybody listens to it, but I think he's a great. I think it's a really fun show. We you know he works for WWE. He does commentary on Friday nights now for SmackDown. Yes, and he had Aaron Rodgers on today, which was supposed to be a really big deal, dude. Yesterday was or no, um, last Friday was Brock Lesnar, and then Tuesday was Aaron Rodgers. And he had Aaron Rodgers on, and Aaron was supposed to talk about his future and how he's going to leave the Packers or retire or whatever. I don't know. He didn't say shit. It was just a waste of time. However, at the beginning of his program, he said, Hey, everybody, I heard that Cody Rhodes is coming to the WWE. And if he does, I hope he's on Friday nights. He, like, really, I don't think he was supposed to spoil it, but he just started talking about it. He said it's really funny because Cody and his friends went and tried to start their own promotion and failed. They had, uh, what did he say? They failed, they tried to go up against WWE, but just couldn't, and Cody saw the light, and he's coming back. That's literally what he said on his show. So Damn. it's like, wow. Yeah, yeah. 
That is a bit of a whoa. So I thought that was interesting. Not sure I didn't exactly believe any of the was, any of the speculation or rumors until I heard that those two things, and I was like, "Oh, well, shit!" Bad. Yep, I only have a single jump now since I moved this thing. That sucks. Okay. You, you want me to help you get it back? Because you can change your jumps. Really? And you, Wilson, making breakthroughs. Left sure, I'm doing up. some storyline stuff first. So, the relic rendered a full blueprint out of a single. And you don't fragment. need to have that Almost as subclass if you that weapon based on equipped if you don't want to. Which you know, I'll get used to it. I think it'd be fun. I got a synaptic sphere now. Bleeds into the present. Synaptic sphere. That's pretty cool. Is that another glaive? I think so. It must be. Okay, so if I go to my menu and then I go to this thing in the Revenant uh, subclass, I can get my jump back. You said, huh? How do I do that? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, you you hit the triangle and you got the thing that says abilities and aspects, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, hover over that second icon. Mm -hmm. It should say high lift, and if you go down, like mine says high lift and catapult lift. Those are the two jumps. Oh, okay. Or the th okay. There's three jumps. You see that yep. down below? Yep, I got it. Equip the one you want. Thanks, man. I think what happened is I unequipped it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, the Synaptic Spear is an artifact. It's an artifact that's the fifth spot down on my left side of my items, or my character sheet. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, so if you level that thing up, that gives you, like, uh, weapon abilities where you can slot your weapons. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not disliking this at all. I can't wait till Alec uh, gets actual internet instead of America Online. So his. <laughs> <laughs> so his uh, bazooka joke and join us. So is this the is this the new tower now, or is this just another place? No, where we can no, go? the the tower is still there. This is just like, so you remember when we did the Snow World last expansion? Yep. And there was like that base that had the guy with the four arms. Yep. This is essentially like the base for this season. Oh, okay. We can we can always go back to the tower. And the tower has actually changed a little bit, like really? with uh, well, not location of stuff, but like uh. You'll you'll understand if you go back because everything will be highlighted to tell you what to do. Like okay. that guy who stands in the corner who Thaddeus thinks looks like you, that blue guy. Yeah. He has like f like free shit for you as soon as you go there. Oh, that's cool. Should we go to the tower or do we? Where are yeah, we right we now? Can. We're in. Yeah, we're let's on, go to the tower. We're on the throne homeworld, Mister. That's Sa Savathan's throne world. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. Yes, Josh. <laughs> you, like you know what's funny? I still have some of my quests, my bounties from last season. Yeah, I was wrong about that. Like, I thought they all were going to go away, and, like, some of them did, but not all of them. So here's the weirdness. So I still have the same two bounties that I... <laughs> That I've had since last summer, and they won't expire. They they both say expires in less one less. Yeah, sorry, expires in less than one minute. They both have said that for over ten months now. And they're Are for that. They're for those Olympic games from last summer. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. They've just been sitting there. I was thinking, oh, they might they'll be gone, but nope, they're both still here. It's so weird. Can you uh, can you even meet the mission requirements for it? Yeah, I think I got to do crucible matches. Uh, so I've hit three crucible matches completed, and then crucible weapon final blows. I have six out of thirty. I know I've done more of those since then. It's been six out of thirty for months now. And then the other one was um, defeat twenty combatants with a rocket launcher, and it says rocket launcher final blows zero out of twenty. Now I can abandon them, I guess, but really it's just kind of funny seeing them. Why abandon them when you can? Yeah. Maybe eventually do them or something. Right. You never right. know. You never, you never know. Are you taking you, us to the tower, Jerry do, McGuire? Do you, think, do you think this is fucking attack? Oh, sure. The heel oh, to sure. force a settlement. Jesus, that was creepy dancing. 
that second there. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's go. So, for the next time you stream, like on the actual PC, like you took all that Nightbot stuff off, right? So if Alec types the word like "hi," he doesn't get banned. Yeah, he'll be fine. You'll be. <laughs> everyone will be fine. Are you sure? Positive. Everybody be fine. It still will do those little shortcuts every once in a while. Um, but yeah, I don't. He's all taken care of. He's all cleaned up. If somebody does all caps or whatever, they can do whatever they want. Oh, I'm far from cleaned up. <laughs> Who got the new ship? Is that you, Josh? The yellow one? Yeah. I've had th I've had that for a while. I thought. Oh, I haven't seen it. Maybe I, I haven't just... I don't know. Maybe I... You know, I don't know. I think that's an old one. It's like an angry duck. Yeah, I'm an angry duck ship. An angry duck, a Winnebago, and a pair of binoculars. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Ryan, like you're flying the binoculars. binoculars. I like the binoculars. That's the starting ship, isn't it? Well, it doesn't matter what ship you have, so... <laughs> I didn't use it. I didn't buy anything else. It doesn't matter what ship you have. Oh, it doesn't actually. It's all just aesthetics. Did you say ath athletics? Athletic. I said aesthetic. I always get kind of. I don't know if he does it on purpose, but a little irked when LGR says. Aesthetics. <laughs> Aesthetics. Icarus grip. This stuff's made in New York City. New York City. Yep. That's what I said. That's what I said, Ryan Schwarzman. Well, oh. hold on. Holy crap, that's a lot of... I forgot what I was doing. I guess I'll keep that for a little bit. That is a lot. Holy shnikes. Holy yeah. shnikes. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know Uncle Freddy. I don't know no Freddy. Let me know next time you want to watch Hello. Hello. Or did you want to play one more mission, Mr. Jaeger, or uh, what? what's the happenings here? Let's do one more mission. Let me upgrade some of my handkerchiefs. And do I have time to drain the main vein so I don't have to do it in a cup and get you mad again? <laughs> I suppose. All right. Word, uh, just so you know, Alec, never pee in a cup in front of Josh. He gets very angry. Yeah, especially not when we're going 80 miles per hour down a highway. I'll into just tell a bottle. Him to turn around. I mean, he may have gotten mad because I let go, and it was like letting go of like a, you know, like a hose. But yeah, the splashing off the back of my head was pretty fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I've, 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 okay. <laughs> 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 this wasn't in a car. Um, I used to live with this girl for like years and she would be like, hey, do you need to use the restroom? I'm going to go like take a bath and whatnot. And I was like, no, good. You're go for it. And then like 15, 30 minutes later, I was like, okay, this is a, this is a problem. I actually have to pee. So I grabbed, I, I didn't want to pee directly into the kitchen sink because it's too high. Oh. <laughs> Wait. So I, had, I, I, I had a 32 ounce quick jerk cup <laughs> and I peed into that and I filled it up like one and three quarter times. Wow. I was Jesus. like, okay. Yeah, I guess I did have to pee. <laughs> did she walk also, in and you won't? Oh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> It was close, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, Josh would not have had that. Mm -mm. <laughs> that cup that cup got thrown away then, right? <clears throat> After I rinsed it out. Or did somebody drink out of it later? 
No, so was, I had to pee while he was driving, right. Alec, and I wasn't going to say it anything. It was so him, stupid. He, he got so mad at me that when we stopped at the gas station, he slapped me in the back of the head like I That's was That's not poor. true. Ugh. Led me into the back. This part, yes, it is true. You hit me in the head, and then you watched me wash my hands three times. Okay, none of that is true. But you you're like, did. You're the grossest human. You did piss into a bottle in the back seat of my vehicle while there was another girl back there with you. And then it was, I was like, th I was like, there's an exit coming up. It's two or three miles. And then Jay's like, oh, duh, too late. Whoopsie doozy. Whoa, here we go. You and make I'm like, this sounds so bad. She was pregnant, so she's already seen a dick before. Okay. Oh my god. Continue. Yeah, she Didn't was pregnant. See it. Yeah. She... <laughs> 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 so we're doing that, and then we're going off the exit. And I'm like, and I'm like, and you're like, oh, too late, Sorry. too late. And I'm like, this is not fucking happening. And Bucky, I look over at my friend Bucky in the passenger seat, and he looks at me. And he's like, oh, this is happening. And I'm like, no. <laughs> we pull off to the gas station, and it smells like urine. It, it, ugh. Oh, it's so disgusting. It would pull it up to the gas smell station. Like urine. You're yes, it, it like did. Peed on your face. It basically was. It, you, you're peeing in an enclosed vehicle. It smelled disgusting. It smelled like a bathroom in there. And then I pull up to the gas station, and you're like, "What? What now?" And I'm like, "And I'm like, yeah, get out and take your bottle with you, and go and finish in the bathroom and wash your hands." I did say that. And then Jay looks at me, and he's getting out. And he's like, well, how will I know for sure if you'll be here when I get out? And, you, and I said, you won't. <laughs> and then you went in there and you washed your hands and you came out. And then we drove back to your apartment. I think we were only like five minutes from your apartment, too. And we drove to your apartment in complete fucking silence. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does Cordy always say about when you are driving? You don't like to stop. So I think I... you purposely drove extra further thinking I'd be able to hold it, knowing that I have the world's smallest bladder. We were right there. We were right there. We were right out. there. We were right there. You were you were doing it for shock value. You were pulling a Howard Stern so we'd have another goddamn story to talk about on this fucking stream. <laughs> I was not pulling a Howard Stern. Yes, you I, were. It could have gotten a lot worse if I wanted to pull a Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> then then another then, an, then then another <laughs> another eight years went by. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was eight years, but I think it was a good like week or two before we actually talked to each other again. I think it was, but a week or two, yeah. Yeah. And you're like, look, I'm really sorry, and I'm like, okay, fine. And I'm sorry for blowing up. But really that was gross. <laughs> All right, now I'm actually going to pee, so we don't have another pee story, and then we can play a mission. Oh, okay. I wanted to do another pee story. Well, what about the pee story? Uh, we thought about pee stories. So while he's gone, um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> no. Uh, I'm, I'm getting zonky here. I'm going to probably bow out on this next mission. All right, buddy. So, well, it sounds good. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Oh, no problem. It was fun. Good, good, good. I'm... Yeah. We'll, we'll chat with you tomorrow. Yeah, and, absolutely. And uh, for those who are watching Josh's stream, you can watch my stream tomorrow night. So, the Dork Father. What should I do, Josh? Should I paint? Hmm. You should... Let's see. Or I can do... I can well... do what? Uh, it's up to you. Um, we can do anything. If you want to play games on the PlayStation, we could do that. Otherwise, if you painted... You haven't done painting in a long time. Yeah. I think one of these weeks, too... Once once Evercon's over with, I think it would be easier. But one of these weeks, I should either come over and we can set up RetroArch or uh, yeah. retro RetroCade on your laptop or computer, and then, then you can check that out. Because it's flipping amazing. Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. I got Fightcade up and running. It's good. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll do something. Um, I think I'll do something live. I'll do it live. Fuck it. We'll I'll do, do it live. live. No peeing, though. All right. For the Dark Father, I'm out of here. Oh, Have a good night. Remember to game on. Good night, Ryan. See you later, dude. Bye. See ya. 
Alec, do you have fight Kate on your computadora? I don't. I could. It's pretty neat. So Pickle Friction, who is in the chat every once in a while, he kind of tipped me off on this super cool app called Fightcade. And I never yeah, knew anything I about it. I saw you guys play something the other day. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, a couple weeks ago, we were playing Fightcade. We played Battletoads, and then I, I don't remember what else we played. And you don't have to play... Um, you don't have to play Fightcade to get to those games, but normally... It's intended for, um, like, arcade games and stuff. So you play, yeah. like, you know, Simpsons or when anything, X-Men, and then you could play tons of fighting games like Street Fighter 3 or Street Fighter Alpha 3 or whatever. And then um, the, the, the best thing about it is it has a really nice online community, and the gameplay, it, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's pretty freaking close. Like, it, it's, it's you don't look, get it much lag. It's, it's really slick. Yeah. And... Um, the whole purpose of it is basically to be able to play arcade games online against other players. And that's kind of the main thing of it. And you can uh, get into lobbies and see who else is playing and challenge them to games and stuff like that. And one of you just basically is the first player and one of the other first player is the second player. And it works out really well. Um, RetroArch is just a front-end um, GUI for a whole shitload of emulators. Right. Um, and from what I've seen so far, it runs really well. The the, the uh, front end uh, menu system though is not very intuitive. I'm actually not a huge fan of it. But yeah, I I, I threw RetroArch on ready a Raspberry Pi or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, this this is fine. Yeah, but it was I, it was a little you know fumbly and. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if it's like you're able to um, set it up however you want. I wonder if there's ways to like make it look better because I think I think on my Raspberry Pi three I have um, Meddafen and I really like Meddafen. Meddafen um, worked perfect for my Xbox in in playing emulation and stuff on it. Um, the, the fucking coolest thing about my Xbox and my emulators that I have on my, which is all Mednafen, I, I believe it's almost all Mednafen, is that I can take like a whole slew of game consoles, like I can take my Sega CD discs and my TurboGrafx CD discs and like, I think even like Neo Geo CD is even supported, but I don't remember for sure, but like you go to those emulators and you just put the discs right in the Xbox and it'll play the goddamn games, like, oh, shit, it, it is nice, like, oh my god, is it nice. Um, so then you don't have to fill up the hard drive with big CD games, because usually a CD game is, I don't know, 500 megs to sometimes almost a gig. Like, they're big. Um, bigger than a regular cartridge game, you know, whatever. And yeah, so... Especially with, yeah. with soundtracks and stuff. They feel Right. Up. They really do, yeah. It's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I really liked... I really like emulation on my Xbox. I've been doing that for... Uh, since 08... Because I, I wound up selling my entire game collection in 08. Like, everything except for uh, Dreamcast. I kept my Dreamcast stuff. Because I like... I don't know. Dreamcast is just easy to burn stuff. And I don't think there was a whole... Wasn't a whole lot of value to Dreamcast at that point in time. So I'm like, whatever. I'll just keep it. But I sold everything. I had Neo Geo AES. I had games. I had Turbo games. I had Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Famicom. I had tons of stuff. And I sold everything. Kind of make ends meet and get caught up in bills and stuff like that. And... I definitely regretted it almost immediately, but uh, that Xbox is what got me through a lot of it because you know emulate it all and then you just play it and it's nice because I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox controllers, but it was nice to have it um, all in one little area, one one big ass PC looking thing, and you can connect it to a TV through traditional AVs or component or composite or whatever. I like that. Right. But man, nowadays um, emulation is definitely evolved. The online play and all that stuff is pretty freaking impressive. Yeah. But, yeah. I have M I have Mednafen on my Linux laptop and then I've, so far I have RetroCade and RetroArch on my newer-ish laptop. And I like it. It works pretty damn well. Yeah. I am ready whenever Jaeger Meister... Am I still am I the lead? Should I go back to that Mars then? Ooh, we can do we can do it if you want to do more storyline. Yeah, otherwise we can do anything. Okay, let's let's go let's go to the 
let's go to the let's go to Mars. Let's do more storyline stuff. Um, yeah, and the most recent thing I tested out with RetroArch actually was the PSP emulation, and oh my God, is it awesome! It's really cool. Alec, are you on yet or no? Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it says you're online playing Destiny 2, which is funny. Well, yeah, I, I opened the game and it was like, yeah, you could download these things, and I was like, okay, cool, yeah. Hmm. So it's just kind of sitting up in the background. <laughs> Oh, oh, he must be playing on Xbox. Ben Cleats, our good oh, Ben, that cool. manga guy. But we'd yeah, have to get off. There. We'd have to get off this chat and then go to a Destiny chat. No, because he's playing on Xbox. So if he joins this par this chat party, we'll he we'll hear him. No, it won't. Uh, I was chatting with him on a PlayStation chat today. Oh wait, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. You're right. You're right. So we'd have to close this chat and then open up a Destiny chat. That's the only question yes. I was... Yeah. Sucks. That's pretty sick. That's, That's pretty, pretty sick. sick. He'd have to join in on a PlayStation chat, though. Which I don't think he plays on PlayStation anymore, so... No, he's on Xbox... S, I think? Yep. Yes. S or X, I can't remember. He got the new one. Whatever it is, it's pretty damn cool. Um, anyway, uh, on the RetroArch 2, one last thing about that, because these streams, eventually, we're going to get... You're going to see these on, on my Tuesdays and Thursday night streams. But I got the DS emulation working really well, too, and oh my god, is it awesome. Oh. Yeah, it was really slick. Um, you can use a couple different things. So, like, the bottom screen's a touch screen on a DS. So, like, there's two right. different screens that pop up. And when you're streaming, like with OBS, you can have OBS look at both different screens and like you can set them up however you want to on your sharing screen or whatever. Whereas like the bottom screen could be like a smaller screen and then the, the main screen can kind of be the big one that everyone's supposed to focus on or vice versa or however you want to do it. Or you can have it both be equal or whatever. And then um, you can use the mouse and the clicker for the bottom touch screen or you can use the right analog stick on like an Xbox controller. So it was really, really freaking cool. Yeah. Um, a lot of neat things you can do with that, and so yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Um, and Alec, probably tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to send out your 3D glasses finally, because at Evercon next weekend, I'm going to make sure that we do our stream um, on, nice. with with 3D glasses. So it'll be pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. Oh, are you reshaping something? Confused. Yeah. Many. You can view pattern weapon unlocks in the triumph oh, screen. Oh, you can do. Pretty. Cool <clears throat> Sorry, this is like getting used to stuff all over again. Yeah, I don't understand. Wow, three thirteen eighty. Okay, buddy. Sorry. Patterns and. I have a bunch of weapons in here now to do. I guess. Weird. Oh, oh. Dude, where did? Uh, Dark Father go. He said he was feeling tired and so he's gonna go to bed. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm in triumphs. Oh. I, I don't think I'm gonna mess around with this reshaping and shaping shit. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> well. Hmm. <laughs> You'll have to play more and figure it out. Well, you first. have to you have to get a uh, there's a red bordered weapon and one dropped for me earlier today and it like the more you use it it spawns like pieces of stuff. Um, red bordered weapon. Select the patterns and triumphs category. Okay, I I feel like a total numbskull. Uh huh. That's why. Oh, really? Oh, you didn't know? Burr, burr, burr. You have to okay. call somebody. Interesting. Okay. So it has to drop for you before you can get the pattern. Very interesting. I'm very interested. I'm interested in this. 
don't know. All right, where do we go from here then? Or are you gonna right, sit? Sir. No, I, I did it. So, if you want to do one of these missions, where? What does it say for you? Like, where's the? Where Where are you looking at? Is there a flag down? Because my flag was down here, oh, somewhere wait. around here to do the campaign. Did you? I'm down here, dude. Is there a flag standing next to me? Yeah, there is. Okay, that's what you have to do the square okay. on to start the okay. campaign. Okay. Because I can't see the flag. Oh, gotcha. Super hot gotcha pants. So they're going to match us with somebody else, maybe? Boy, I sure hope they, so. They might. They might not. We see it when they get there, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to come to Evercon, yeah. Next weekend, boy. Oh, I'm really excited too. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm nervous and excited at the same time. I hope it goes well. So it's like it's open to the GP. That stands for general public. And on Friday, right? Yep. We open Friday morning and close Sunday night. Sunday night. And you gotta be there pretty much all the time, all three mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. The new mission, the Queen's Bailey. Yeah, it says throne worlds are kingdoms of thought. Yeah, this is a fun built mission. according to the desires of the creator. I suppose Sabathur desired a throne world made of light. Everything here is imbued with it. What's strange to me is that she's Hello and here. welcome back to the stage Why of the immortals. Why did she just let us walk in? Welcome Being back, Alec. How she stole the light. Whoa! Bad guys. What the hell? That's adorable. Oh, those you are mods, aren't like they? You. I like you because you're a smart Alec. Oh, 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 he's never heard that. Whoa, 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 and whoa. Oh, and man. apparently Wizard of Oz took place in Kansas here? I don't know. You, what do you mean, like, because it's so cold? No, no, Wizard. Something. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Wizard of Oz took place in Kentucky. Oh. No, it's, it's Kansas. I think we're not in Kentucky anymore, Toto, right? No, that's I think I don't think we're in Kentucky anymore. Totoro, <laughs> different different world universes. It's Miyazaki. I hey, what's seen, up, Dan? How I you doing? Seen my uh, my cousin Totoro. My, my, uh, that's my neighbor Totoro. I was gonna say it wasn't Japanese word for cousin. Isn't the Japanese word for cousin now, what is it, uh, Aki? Wow. What? Wow. Wait, what are you wowing me for? Why am I always wowing you? God damn it, I just went down. Oh, and Jay gets the final word because I had him down 80% of that. You did not. You had him down 15, I did the 80. I got his bukkake right there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Johnny Cochran. Anyway, hey, Raffle Mao, how's it going? He's in Kansas too, I think, or at least he used to be. There's actually a weird number of people that are around the Wichita area. I've never. Who's Raffle Mao? He sounds familiar. He's on the chat. His uh, handle on uh, on the Twitch is Zodwallop. Zodwallop. I can trace the signal. Like Zod from Superman. Missouri, but the Kansas area, Kansas City area, yeah. We're blocked, but I'm picking Missouri. up that psychic energy over there. Yeah, I think uh, John and well, not John, Nullity. Casey is pretty good. 
How did yeah. you do that? It's like you created those That's platforms like my, out of my go to spot for day trip or like overnight trip vacations. Just like, I need to get the fuck out of Wichita. Yeah. Okay, platforming on this is gonna be a little. So you see these like... this thing. Yeah, that's right. Bark trays out that way. Yeah. Oh. oh, what the filio sandwich? What the? Okay, oh. uh, go underneath. You see that black mist like a ghost? <laughs> yeah. You see that? Okay, go over by it and press and hold the square down so that it illuminates all those hidden platforms. Oh, okay. You see all the hidden platforms now, buddy? Yeah, I was getting up there, I just didn't... Yeah, uh... you just missed it by two seconds. Yeah. That black mystery Shit. reminds me of you. House on Haunted Hill. That was a creepy-ass movie. Yeah, it was. I liked it. I hate, I hate the, like, uh, stop-motion walks they have ghosts do. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, I know what you... I know what you're meaning. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll wait for you, wait for you Josh. Oh, yeah. Raid, raid, raid. Alright, I made it. I'm fine. Right? Jesus. Oh, what the hell just happened? So is this part of the main story? Oh, no. Yes. Whatever? Okay. Yeah. You're, uh... I can't remember if we have to fight that Selbathon again in this one. Hmm. Oh. There's a platform in a game. In this. <laughs> Oh, you're not behind me, are you? Oh, oh no, I'm right behind you. Yeah. No, jump up here. Oh man, I don't know if I can. Well, oh, wait, you see that pla Can you go from the... Okay, go up to the end of that tube and then look in-game to your left. What, what you tube? See that platform? You see that platform that I'm shooting? I heard Wireframe... War Warframe, right? Didn't Jay, didn't you play Warframe? Yeah, I like Warframe. It's just it's a lot more fun when you have people to play with. And yeah. I really never like. I don't think you and Ryan were into F FPSs at that point. Well, I mean, we aren't really good at them. I think Raffle Mao, you're you're thinking of Wirehead, which is a classic Sega CD game. <laughs> I love that game. What's That's, Wirehead? Wirehead is a game about a guy who had um, died. Good start. Yeah, it's about a guy. He he was he was gonna die. He was in a horrible accident, and then um, yeah, that's the way we gotta go. Ooh, that's crazy. Now the statues there. Yep. You see their hands. Yeah. See that black hand that pointing the way for us to go, and I just died. Just oh fucking shit! I'm dead too. Unless I can climb. No. Oh, no. oh god. Exploding guys! Oh, really? Cool. That's oh, awesome. My goat ass. Oh my goat ass just exploded. Hey, I'll, I'll revive you. Don't go spawn. Don't go oh, change it. Exploding boy. Damn. Man. Anyway, so this guy in Wirehead, he's got a horrible accident, and he almost dies. And so the scientist is like, "Hey, dude, I'll save your life." And the mom and the kids are all like, "Yes, please save our." father and our husband and so they implant him like they fix his brain and they fix his head and everything with this wire that comes out of his head and he can't necessarily do everything on his own but he can do most things but he's controlled by someone else whenever he needs help with doing things like walking or talking or saying things or moving and uh, the thing that controls him is a Sega Genesis controller where are you Josh? And so, when uh, it's found out that he's like this secret weapon that can be used to, con you know, control him to be like a super soldier, this big company's like, well, we need to find this guy, and we need to find his 
head and we need to find his controller so that we can create more super soldiers so that we can control entire armies at a time with a single controller or whatever. And so there's these bad guys, these bad, like, uh, I don't know, army people that are chasing him around or whatever. And the only person that can control him and save him is you holding your Sega Genesis controller. And so the whole game premise is basically... Okay, the game premise or genre is very similar to Dragon's Lair. It's a stop... Well, whatever you want to call it. Um, stop, Not stop motion. It's a... Full motion Twitch, video? Full motion video, but it's a type of game. It's that... Uh, God, it's a, it's a feature in like Shenmue and other games that people don't really like very much. What's it called? Uh, where you... It's like... Shoot quick press... Yeah, kind of-ish, but it's like... Quick press A to, to dodge the bullet coming at you. Oh, quick time. Oh. Quick time events, yes. The whole game is quick time events in like a laser disc game, yeah. And that's it. And it stars a guy that's one of my favorite actors named Steve Whiting. Who I think I've told you guys about, right? That sounds like a David Lynch or a John or the Lynch movie. Who is it? John Lynch? You know David who Lynch. Well, you know Yeah, maybe, but it's it's actually really Really funny, really stupid. Because every yeah. time, come over here and stand where I am. Yeah, I'm right here. Stand right here. I'll be right back. Okay. Whenever he does something and you get him killed, he always looks at the camera and says, "Ugh, way to go, buddy." <laughs> or like he does these like just look of ultimate disappointment whenever you do something stupid, and it's like you'll be in an airplane and the airplane's going down and it's about to crash and Steve Whiting's like, what do I do, what do I do? And he's looking around and there's like a parachute on the ground or there's a, there's a, a raft in the, in the plane for some reason or there's, like a hank, or there's like a handkerchief or something and you can like grab one of them, you know, quick time events. And so if you grab the handkerchief and he jumps out the plane with it and he's like fla- falling just straight to the death to, to earth and he like falls and just splats in the ground. When he's, like, laying there, he's not dead. He looks at the camera and just looks with utter disappointment, like, way to go, buddy. (laughs) And it's like, that's the whole game. And it's so fucking funny. It's just, it's just great. Um, I played that with Jake Colstead, um, a bunch, and I played it with, like, a whole bunch of people. I'll I'll bring it to Link, or I'll bring it to Evercon, and you can try it there. It's really funny. But anyway, so it got me to start a Steve Whiting fan club. I love it. Whenever he's in any kind of a movie or a bit, he's always just like extras and stuff in movies. But you know what? He was actually in a Batman movie, Jay. What? Really? Yeah. He was Josh in Batman Returns. Josh. His his line, yeah, his line in Batman Return was, um, no, it's not like Beyond Shadowgate at all. It's more like Dragon's Lair or like... Uh, Space Ace. Zodwallop was asking if it's like Beyond Shadowgate. No, Beyond Shadowgate's uh, an action or like uh, an adventure game. So, um, in uh, why? Oh, in Batman Returns, his line is, "Hey Penguin, or no, Hey Cobblepot. Not a lot of reflective surfaces in the sewers, huh?" Oh, is that the, no- the guy who gets his nose bit? And then Penguin says, oh, could be worse. My nose could be gushing blood. And he's like, nose could be gushing blood. I don't get it. And then Penguin bites his nose off. Ah. Wait a yeah. second. I thought I, I think that's, I saw this page. Didn't that's you do Steve something where you like? Didn't you do something where you like inserted yourself <laughs> in like a scene with him in something? No. What do you know about no. Um, oh, no. I'm thinking of Rob Van Dam. You did that with, or uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, I did that with Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. So, um, Steve Whiting is also in um, a Scorsese movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. What Inception? No, a good one. That's not a Scorsese movie anyway. Inception's a fucking that clown, uh, the guy who did the Batman trilogy. I'm not a big fan of his at all. Schumacher? No, uh... uh, uh Schumacher's yeah. terrible. Schumacher is the worst. I'm, this guy is just overrated. How about that? Who is that guy that did that? Nolan. Uh, Christopher Nolan. Nolan, yeah. I'm not the biggest Christopher Nolan fan. I, I think his movies are okay, but they always go about 30 to 45 minutes too long. Every single one of them. It's always like, oh, the movie's over. Nope. 
yes, the main story is over. I swear the credit the credits are any minute now. Nope, 45 minutes later. Now we're gonna kill Two Face for no fucking reason. Like Jesus Christ, dude. I we're gonna... I don't understand uh, Inception to this day. I know you were talking about that the other night, but um, anyway, so I took it a step further. I still love Steve Whiting, by the way. I think he's awesome. Um, anytime he's in a movie, no, it was. Uh, oh, what's that one? Really, it's the one Scorsese movie that he made that was basically a horror movie, Shutter Island. Jo uh, oh. jo Josh, not Josh. Steve Whiting is one of the scientists. He only ever has like a bit, bit line here or there, but he's in it. He's in that movie. He's great. So I went a step further. I created a fan page for Steve Whiting on Facebook. It's basically it's just called Steve Whiting, <laughs> and. This is the not so uh, honest part on my part, and I apologize. But anyway, he, that page, people get confused, especially older people. They get confused thinking it's actually his Facebook profile. So I. <laughs> so I just post to it. <laughs> yeah, constantly. There are so many people that follow it, and so many people that message him saying, Hey, Steve, we used to be neighbors back on Hollywood Boulevard, blah, 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 whatever. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember you. <laughs> hey, you're giving I, some people hope. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm terrible. There's one guy who messaged him once and said, like, hey, we went to high school together. Remember this old picture? It was a picture of them together. Steve Whiting was like a 16-year-old kid. And I'm like, oh, my God. I got I to gotta stop this. But I can't. Now that I've had a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be a Hollywood famous guy, I can't stop. I can't yeah, stop. Yeah, I guess so, but it's Steve Whiting. He's in Wirehead. He's a video game character. <laughs> he is. He he's started not, his own... He's not real. He's a video game character, damn yeah. it. Yeah. So, there and another... A, there, was a, there was a Facebook group. I think it was called Will Smith Fan Club. <laughs> why, did my, why did I laugh like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> and it, and it, it was... Oh, I can't remember who... I'm probably like remembering this completely wrong, but it was Will not Smith. pictures of it was not pictures of Will Smith. <laughs> it was someone that looked kind of like Will Smith. It might have been. Oh shit. God. Morgan Freeman, maybe. Oh my God, that's terrible. And it went on for a long time, and then they like usurped the actual like page link and name and made it an official club for the person that they were actually portraying. Oh my god. But it was named, like, Will Smith Man. I, I'm sorry, I'm probably remembering everything fucking wrong, but, like, it was it was a wild fucking trip. Wild wow, Will Smith Fan Club. I want to know more. This, this Steve Whiting story isn't over yet, though, so whenever you're ready. Go yeah, for it. Not yeah, I thought there was something. Didn't he con like contact you and threaten you to kick your ass? No, no, not at all. He actually follows his Steve Whiting page too, the one that I made. And he, <laughs> he shared it once on his Facebook wall, saying, "This is a fan. This is a fan page for me." And then um, someone, one of his friends, said, "Oh, this is how I get a hold of you." And then I liked it as Steve Whiting. <laughs> as the fan club version of Steve Whiting. But anyway, so in 2012, I first started working at Collaborative, and I found this software for screenwriting. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Um, and I, so I started practicing screenwriting just, just to use this app, because it, 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 like, you, you just literally just write things in it, and it puts it together like a screenplay. Like, it does all of it for you. All you do is, like, you start typing it, it'll, it'll, like, put in the information, like, who is it that's saying this line? What, you know, set the scene, do this. It, it just runs you right through it. It's called Trelby. T-R-E-L-B-Y. Trelby. It's fucking amazing for, right? Like, professionals use it, and it's 100% free. And, um, anyway, so I started writing a screenplay, and I got, like, maybe, like, 80 or 90 pages into it. And it was like, this is so fun, writing the screenplay. And I wrote a movie for Steve Whiting and, um, Steven Seagal. And, matter of fact, my... Poster says, "Finally, the two Stevens in one movie." Hold on a second. You got ninety. <laughs> yeah. You got ninety pages in. Yeah. Because 
from like from what I'm remembering of like my media class I took in college, roughly a page of a screenplay is a minute. So you wrote a ninety minute movie or Yeah. Uh, Holy I I, shit. I would say that it is to a point of someone could read it over and look at it. I gave it to a friend. Um, named Esther years ago, and she was. She said by the end of what she read, she was laughing so fucking hard that she thought it would be an amazing movie. And I don't know if she's just being kind or what, but the movie is called Ghost and Clones Two. Did I tell you about this, Jay? You never let me read this, so this is like. God damn it! Hold on. Ghosts and Clones Two. So I'll give you the premise of the whole story. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty stupid. It's supposed to be stupid, though. But it stars Steve Whiting and Steven Seagal. By the way, I've reached out to Steven Seagal on Twitter. I did this all. I did this all in 2012. So this is already 20, 10 years ago. Um, I never reached out to Steve Whiting because I was too embarrassed because I'm such a huge fan of his. <laughs> <laughs> but Steven Seagal, I have no problem sending a message to his um, his manager or his yeah. uh, his whatever. And so I sent a message on his Twitter from my Twitter saying, "Hey." Curious, how can you sign up Steven Seagal for a movie? For like a weekend filming or whatever. Like, how, how does that, how's the process start? And the guy just responded back saying, what's the budget? And I'm like, oh my God, what's the budget? So I said $100,000. And then all his agents said, it was, we don't do low budget movies. And I'm like, $100,000 is low, okay, I guess it is low budget. And that was it. That was the that was the end of my communication with Steven Seagal's agent. But um, how do we have two? Damn it! I'm sorry. Oh Josh, no! I sorry, I, I went down. That's okay. We can respawn and try it again. Um, so anyway, Ghosts and Clones Two is a story about Steven Seagal is a scientist and Steven Whiting is his boss, also a scientist. They work on they're, they're, they work in a clone lab where they create clones of people, or where they're starting to create clones of people. They're testing it, right? And there's this day that they're working on stuff, and they're very close to having a breakthrough, blah, blah, blah. Steven Seagal tells his wife, he's like, hey, baby, uh, we're, today we're going to do it. We're going to make a clone. And she's like, really? And he's like, yep, we're going to do it. And he goes to the clone factory, and they're working in their science labs and stuff, and they're just about to make a real clone, and the fucking the, 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 the lab blows up, right? And it's like, boom, explosions everywhere. And uh, Steven Seagal's got his character dies. He's dead. He's found dead by Stephen Whiting. And Stephen Whiting's like, oh, my God, what do we do? And he's like, this is my, my right-hand man, my best friend. I, he's dead. I don't know how I'm going to face his wife and, and tell her that her, her husband's dead. And then he's like, oh, my God. All we have to do is push this last button and test it out. And I'm going to clone Steven Seagal's character. So he does. So he clones him. What are they doing here? And Steven Seagal's now a clone, and he's like, "I'm gonna go tell tell his his, her, his wife that it was a horrible accident at the lab, but his but her husband's fine." So she goes, he goes home to his wife, and there's something a little off about him, but we're not really sure. She's not sure what's all going on, but Steven Seagal's clone is now with Steven Seagal's wife, and so she doesn't figure it out she doesn't know what's going on they're like carrying on their lives for the rest of the time and Stephen Whiting's like haha I really did it I'm not only not only did I save or you know make a clone of my best friend and fooled everyone but I've also made the first real clone and so now our business is going to make millions of dollars and so who does come and who comes into Steven Seagal's wife's life and then lets her know that Steven Seagal is actually a clone that's right it's the ghost of Steven Seagal so thus, ghosts and clones. So she's haunted by... It's basically like uh, a little bit like Straight. that one uh, Patrick Swayze movie. I can't think of what it's called. Were you, were you like, tripping on like, acid? No, I was, in, I was in Arizona in Flagstaff driving through the mountains when my friend Alex and I started coming up with such a stupid storyline. And we, it made us laugh so much. I'm like, this is fucking hilarious. we got to write this down. That's why we created the Facebook page. It literally says Ghosts and Clones, and there's a picture of Steven Seagal and Steven Whiting together. And it says, finally the two Stevens in one movie. <laughs> and it's just called Ghosts and Clones 2. Like, no one would ever think Steven Seagal and Steve Whiting would be the two Steves, but 
Apparently ghosts I did. And clones. Ghosts and clones. Oh yeah, and then there is no Ghosts and Clones 1 either. It just starts on 2. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, it makes sense. But that's Ghosts and Clones 2. That's the whole thing. Um, I, I got to a point in the story where um, I emailed it. So I know that I've got it somewhere still. Um, it got, what is this thing? I don't understand. What are these things? These little things that you look like weapons. Yeah, it's barrier guards. Yeah, it's, ghost, it's like ghouls and ghosts. So the N or the AND is an N. It's like ghosts, ghosts and clones. Sorry, Rafa Ma was asking me. What's it called? Ghosts and clones. It's ghosts and clones. Like ghouls ghosts and ghosts. And ghosts, ghosts and hoes. Yeah. Another high. Eyes up, guardian. So what were you doing driving through Arizona? I didn't hear about. I don't know about this either. Yeah, I, about. I had um, I had a project in Flagstaff, Arizona, and. Um, for when I worked at uh, Wasa Financial Systems, I was the I was the teacher, which we called ourselves Solution Education. And Alex Alexander Holmes, um, he was the installer, so he's like our my IT guy. And we worked for um, the Flagstaff Courthouse, like where the mayor works and all the clerks and stuff, the city clerks and stuff. And we worked, we installed uh, check processing software for them, and I was the one who taught them how to use it. It's not a group; it's a page. So I'll have to find. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. It's there somewhere. I was told by someone else too that's really hard to find. Um, and I don't know. Maybe you need the link. It's not just something you can search for. I don't know what it is. But I was telling Alex about it, and he said it was really hard to find. But anyway, we were we were working in. Um, this is okay. Funny story. This is the same exact Alex. I've only ever been to two places, by the way, with Alex. Well, when I worked at Wasa. Is that the and, one that let you almost die? Yeah, the one who hit, hit under the dashboard while I was being uh, asked if I wanted to buy drugs. All ghosts were created after the <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> I love this story. Anyway, so uh, that was in Philadelphia. We went to Philadelphia together in Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona. But when we got to... Okay, I'll have to send you... Ruffle my, I'll send you a link to it. I'll find it. Um, but when I... Uh, when we went to Flagstaff, it's about an hour drive to get from the, the airport in Phoenix where they dropped us off and, and uh, up into Flagstaff. And Flagstaff's up in the mountains. And the last day we worked there, um, we were supposed to work until 5, I think, each day. But, but by noon, we were all done. And the, um, you, the you energy you. weapons are full. I can't pick these up. You've got oh, wow, in yeah. your inventory. Oh, yeah, I got a whole lot of shit in here. Oh, wow. Oh. I well, beat the I'll... bad guy for you. Oh well, thank you, J Bear. You're the man. The man, the man. Dismantle some junk. Oh, power joking. went out. Damn it! What'd you do? <gasps> oh, rabbit piss. Anyway, um, so it was about an hour drive from Phoenix to Flagstaff, but at noon on the last day that we were working there, um, the the women that were working there, the clerks, they were telling us about how beautiful of a drive, a scenic route is through the mountains back to Phoenix, but it takes about two and a half, three hours to get there. So we were like, well, if we get, they, we our flight left at like six that night, and it was noon, and they're like, you guys can leave now, we're good. We, you've, you've, we've got everything set up, we're all done, you guys can you know, take a half day. So we, we did that, we went and drove through the mountains um, back to Phoenix, it was friggin' amazing. Like, it was just so beautiful. I, I love mountains, and especially like desert mountains, it was just amazing. Like, you go from um, mountainy, tops and like um snowy areas and all kinds of stuff to like uh freaking desert with cactuses and stuff it was or cacti or whatever you want to say uh, i loved it it was so pretty but i i liked like stuff a lot i'd love to go back there just to like actually explore the area and look at the mountains and stuff because i think that's just super cool mountains and, and desert and stuff um i was only there for like four days though ever but that's while we were driving we were like i think even if because i took a lot of video of it and pictures and stuff and while we were driving um, we were talking about ghosts and clones. <laughs> we're like, and then Steven Seagal will come in and he'll say like, whoa, where's my wife? And he'll be like, she's a clone too. You know, or something. I don't remember what it was, but it was just like, so stupid. Uh, that was ghosts and clones too. Hold on, let me find it. I'll find it and I'll share it to, to uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb, but whatever. Honor to meet you. Yeah. 
For real, real. <laughs> it, I've looked it up so many times, it just pops right up now for me. But uh, <laughs> if there's only four likes, that's great. Ghosts and clones, too. Okay, stop it. Yeah, but I mean, if Sharknado becomes an international like phenomenon, I'm sh- I, as long as like God damn, what's going there's on? the right media attention, you know, around it, I'm sure that that thing can get distributed. <laughs> That's so good. Um, how do I share this? I don't remember anymore. Hey. Oh, you're you're doing something different. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can invite friends. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Yep, that's that's ghosts and clones. Jesus, that was hard. Clones, ghosts and clones. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna sing that now. Yeah, like anytime I hear him say that. Go, gotta be something ghosts and clones. <laughs> All right, and then Dan Hutchins. Oops, sorry, I'm saying real names on on the stream. All right, I, oh shit, no! Oh my god, you big dummy! You big dummy! What did you do? I think I hit the wrong. I hit back. <sighs> God damn it! All right, hold on, hold on. And D dog. Okay. Um. So how do I okay, send invites? Okay, you should see them in your Facebook Messenger, hopefully. That's uh. That's Ghosts and Clones. God, I made that in 2013. This weekend's trip to VGS reminded me of three things. I'm still terrible at write-in. I have to finish our screenplay for Ghosts and Clones 2. And I'm really lucky to have so many awesome friends. Aww. Wait, so you you titled the first movie Ghosts and Clones 2. Yes, there is no Ghosts and Clones 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Das is funny, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I had an enjoyable time playing this. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, we should definitely do it more. Alec, you should play through this storyline that you listened to. It wasn't that bad, but I, I bet it would be a lot. I mean, I bet it would be a lot. You didn't get anything from me. What? On Facebook? What do you mean? Did you guys get an invite? I'm so confused. What the hell? Let me yeah. See. Oh, what? No. What? It said I invited. It said I invited you guys to like the page. Did it not? Maybe it takes a second. It shouldn't. This is super weird. No, I didn't get anything. What? Well, why did it say I was inviting you guys to... What? Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe... This is so confusing. Steven Seagal has once again broken another camera, shooting delayed by another two weeks. <laughs> Steven Seagal has taken the week off to karate punch the state of Oregon. We'll be back to shooting in August. <laughs> Day 14 of filming and Steven Seagal has nearly karate punched everyone on set. The screenplay is currently underway. We promise this one will leave you wishing you were leaving you on the edge of your seat with a deep storyline, epic characters, and of course more clones. I'm so confused. Why isn't this... Okay, hold on. Okay, send in messenger. Let me see. Oh, you, just sent me, you just sent me something. I did? Josh, in, Josh invited you to like orgies, galorgies. Are you sending the right thing? Oh, well, hold on. Maybe I got the wrong thing. <sighs> did, did you get something this time? I got it in I, Messenger. I got That's the what it photo. Yeah, so click on there. Ghosts and clones, ghosts and clones. And then like the ghosts and clones page. Ghosts and clones too. <laughs> oh, God. It's so dumb. But it's so dumb, but it's 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 pretty silly. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I really haven't touched it in years. So who did that's pretty good Photoshop work for twenty twelve. Yeah, I, I did it. I did it. 
Oh, I did it. You should really share your Steven Seagal thing because, or a Jean Claude Van Damme thing, because that is funny. So oh, this the Jean Claude Van Damme video. You like that one? Yes. What about my Steve Wedding fan club page? It's so bad. I feel almost bad about it. Who can say? I wouldn't feel bad about it. I mean, 209 like likes. Oh, God. It's not like you're promising them money. I mean... I haven't. I mean, I haven't... I usually don't message anybody back, but there are probably 100 messages to him now. <laughs> Steve, we... I could I could read them on, on a stream. Oh, God. I'm kidding. I won't do that. What did I say? Oh, um... God, I, I've even done posts as him. Oh, my God. Okay. November of 2016. Well, I guess I can finally check off cross-dressing cross on my bucket list. New roles. <laughs> new roles. Funny situations. LOL. Oh, Jesus. New project starting soon. Keep your fingers crossed. Look us up sometime. I have never met Steven Seagal, so I'm really hoping today's audition went well. Ran into Danny DeVito yesterday on the street. He said he doesn't remember working with me. Sad face. For a guy that had his lips around my nose for a good three seconds, he sure does have a bad memory. <laughs> 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 oh my god. This was from 2011. I forgot it. I forgot all about this. <laughs> I hear that Steve Whiting is in, le is in no less than ten commercials that currently air on TV. Did you see me in Shutter Island? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, and my first ever post was in 2009 as Steve Whiting. And it's, man, I sure wish someone would get working on Wirehead 2. <laughs> God, 2009. Jesus. Yeah, holy shit, that's funny. Jesus Christ, that's great. I gotta look this up. Wirehead, you said? Yeah, it's super fun. It's really weird. I had some uh, vibes earlier of Lawnmower Man for some reason. Um, it, it's a little bit like that, but you know, it's not way, the same. But no, way sillier. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tell the staff of Ghosts and Clones they need me. Then Anna Van Bergen says, Sending good vibes, Steve. Belle Haggerty says, Good luck, Steve. Amelia Angelone Joseph says, Best wishes, Steve. Oh, God. I feel sick almost. <laughs> Have you guys seen the clip of uh, Seagal in... Uh, <laughs> is he in Russia or Ukraine or something? He's, like, eating carrots. Yes! Oh, my God. It's such a fucked up scene. <laughs> But that's him, that's him in real life. It's so yeah, bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> what are you he, talking like, about? He bows, too. It's super weird. Yeah. I don't know. It's from like a month, a, a year or two ago. He's obviously well, well out of shape, but he dyes his beard and he dyes his hair and thinks he's still in his 20s and 30s. And some person or a monk or something hands him a carrot. And he looks at the carrot so weirdly. And then he like bows and he like starts eating it like, oh, yes, this is a carrot. Like, it's just the weirdest shit. Like, it's just super it's weird. Like, I, we grow carrots here. And he was like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. it? Crunch. Yeah. It's just the most bizarre thing. I don't know how to explain it. It's very weird. Steve Whiting is Steve and then W-I-T-T-I-N-G if you want to like the, the fan page. God. Oh, God. I can't really share it either. That's really weird. Oh, it's in Belarus. Okay. Um, I'm going to link that so you can link it elsewhere. Oh, my lord. Oh, I can send it in Messenger. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm watching him eat a carrot. <laughs> oh, God. He's so stoic. It's so weird. He's tapping on the watermelon. watermelon. <laughs> He's 
It's like, yep, that's a good watermelon. Thank you. I, I don't understand. Why does he wear a like a kung fu top everywhere? Because he does martial arts, sort of. Yeah. My kid have reported scorn smuggling pyramid tech into the throne world. Though their ultimate purpose there remains God, he's so weird. That, like Stay cautious. pseudo fake see what you can martial learn. art thing We're where it's it. like you use momentum to yep. throw people down or whatever. Like jujitsu. And he's uh, tapping he's, he's so weird. Yeah, it's so bizarre. Oh Steven. He, oh he's Steven. a fun guy. Yeah, no, I mean for real, he's a legend. I mean, hmm. he's a weird guy. He's a weird guy, and he doesn't—he doesn't do low budget. So you know, he's not—he's not going to take a hundred grand for a role, that's for sure. I can't imagine he wouldn't even do the Expendables movies with Stallone and Schwarzenegger and all those big, big, huge stars. He wouldn't do it because he wouldn't want to do it unless he was the star. And it's like, dude. Come on. How can one person be that full of themselves? Well, let's take a look at his filmography here. Mm -hmm. He did do a movie with, uh, with Mike Tyson a couple years ago. I have that somewhere. It's actually supposed to be pretty fucking good. I mean, fucking good in relative term. Like, how, is, is it going to be campy and ridiculous and funny? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe that was Jean Claude Van Damme. I don't remember anymore. I have it on DVD somewhere. He's certainly still working. Yeah, he is. Isn't that weird? So, <clears throat> did you guys ever hear of this? Like, I saved it on my. Uh, Amazon Prime list. It's free oh. if you're a Prime member, but it's called Trump versus the Illuminati. Oh, God. Ooh. It's a low-budget movie. Tori and I watched, my daughter Tori and I watched the trailer, and <clears throat> the premise is aliens attack Earth. The Chinese government <clears throat> secretly clones Trump and freezes Trump, and in the future, he's unleashed to save humanity. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds amazing. Holy shit, sounds... it's only 70 minutes long. <laughs> Trump I... versus the Illuminati. Yeah, I'm going to watch that probably this week. That sounds amazing. I must see this. What's that one guy that does all the weird shit movies? Tony Ja? Not Joel he... Osteen. He's the religious leader, but the there's... Ah, what's his name? Looks kind of similar. Ikora, the device was some sort of super weapon. Is he, uh, is he like Kirk, Kirk Cameron? Way beyond expected levels. No, Kirk Cameron does all the religious movies. But I thought you just said Joel Austin. We do not yet know. Is he a religious pastor or something like that? The, the, guy, artist? the guy that I'm thinking of is... Uh, he's got his own like streaming service. It's like uh, I can't remember his fucking name. All right, good night, Raffle Mo. Yeah, we're about to head off too. Which is, we're night, Raffle. Wanna, I want to learn more about this uh, creature that makes movies. Music yeah, Trump creepy. versus the Illuminati. I gotta watch this. It sounds amazing, dude. The guy that has his own streaming service, does he pump out just like crap movies? You're not talking about, um, U Bowl, are you? Who what? U, U Bowl? Uh, Uve Bowl or whatever his name is? Yeah, painfully. Uh, no, not painfully bad to watch weird CG movie didn't finish it. What what movie? Shit. Oh, weird. 
thought my phone was running for a second. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh my god. Oh it's all CG. I didn't know it was all CG. Oh I, I don't know, I just that's what I read on my chat. Someone was mentioning it. Someone was mentioning it. Someone mentioned it. Well, there's another one, Bigfoot versus the Illuminati. <laughs> That's incredible. I wonder if that guy who's trolling us on Twitter is behind all those movies. Wow. Well, that'd be cool. Trump versus Illuminati, if it's the same one I'm thinking of. Oh, that's Uncle Uncle Seven Z's said that Trump versus Illuminati is a CG movie. I guess. That's insane. Oh my god, who plays Trump? I don't know. You do a good Trump play. I have to be in the right mood, though. I don't know, it's weird. Zach Hagenbusher actually does a really good Trump voice. I don't I don't like doing it and not and not being uh, in the mood for it. I have to like James Austin Johnson is the best Trump. Is that is that who's on SNL right now? Yeah. He's so good. Yeah, it's it's uh it's incredible how good he is. He's like, he's also a very good comedian, but his Trump is just like Yeah. Yeah. If it's like uh if if he wasn't being over the top and ridiculous, if I was listening to it but not seeing it, I would think it was honestly him. That's how good it is. He's like, you know, that whole can I get a minute thing? He's like, can I get a minute? All right. A lot of people hate him. I think he's a good guy, but a lot of people don't like him. I think he's all right, though. He's not a bad guy. Like, <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, James Austin Johnson has a new show series short film thing um it's on his instagram huh and he's playing a swedish i think music producer <laughs> it's fucking wild it's it's super super good like the character is just insane highly recommended it. it has nothing to do with him being on snl or trump or you know whatever it's just he's a great character actor and he can he can just like pull these things out of nowhere like jj is an incredible comedian and actor hmm. jj dynamite he's incredible he's the best he's the big he's got the biggest words yeah, I'm not, see, I'm not, I just can't do it. Some, some days I gotta do something. Ugh. Well, gentlemen, I think I am heading off to the bedroom. Same thing, I, I know, we both, well, I know you gotta get up right. super early, but I gotta early morning-ish, I wake up around 5.30 to wake kiddos up for their shoelace, so. Alright, Alec, it was fun hanging out. I was glad I, I could spread the word of Ghosts and Clones 2 to both of you and all of the audience members. And um, I hope everyone has a wunderbar rest of their week. It's already Wednesday tomorrow, so that's super cool. Um, Jay Bear, I hope you have an awesome night and get some good rest before work tomorrow. I hope everybody else rocks and is doing well. And I'm glad we got to share some destiny tonight. Change things up. Yeah. But on Thursday... And Schwartzman said he's potentially going to play some on Wednesday night too. Either that he's going to stream. So you got to check out the Dork Father. He was in in here earlier. Um, and then I think Thursday night we're going to get back into Soul Blazer, and then maybe even stream Friday night. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do Saturday this week, just because um, I'm planning on taking the kids and doing some fun stuff with them during the day, and I don't want to have to kind of be strapped down and playing video games in the morning. I want to get up, have a good breakfast, and yeah. then head out and do some fun stuff. So. Let's maybe work on Friday night. And I'll do some more Soul Blazer stuff and maybe wrap that up and I think think start something new and head into Evercon week next week and then some appreciation month in March. So yeah, booyah! All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your night, Alec. Night, Alec. Night, Josh. What you about? Da. Good night, Alec, and good night, Grandma. <laughs> See you guys later. Now.
Bye. Oh, if you guys want to hang on for a second, we'll go raid somebody. We'll go raid Sar Sarumaro. So go uh, go hop on my stream and we'll go raid before I head to bed. Hell yeah. So, Alright, give me two seconds and we'll go raid. We'll go raid, brother. Two seconds. Actually, I can just keep you on the chat. Jay, you can go to bed. Good night. Good night, bitch. Good night, critic. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Later, Christ. Jay. He says good night, bitch. How dare he? Oh, oh, fuck. I just hit my head on him. Oh, that sucked. I'm glad you could hang out tonight, Alec. It sucks that we weren't able to play, though. Yeah, it's my fault. Well, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. I mean, I guess it's, not your fault. it's a little bit your fault. Actually, it's completely your fault. But it's, <laughs> well, it's not entirely your fault. <laughs> I did the thing where I was like, okay, I'll put up my PS PS4 and, you know, okay, we got to download, we got to install and update. Cool. We're good to go, <laughs> right? But I didn't open the damn game. Oh shit! Yeah, it was like one more step, and I would have been cool, because I would have had plenty of time over the last like three hours before this uh, to get it going. But yeah. eh, whatever. Uh -huh. Saru Maru. He's playing Genshin in Mac. Really? Oh no, that's Saru. Okay, that's wrong. So. All right. Well. I know, I had to do the s similar things with mine, but I always leave my PlayStation on um, standby mode, so... Well, that's that's what I thought, was I left it on, and it downloaded the thing, and I was like, okay, we're good. Yeah. Nope, I had to actually up, open the game, and then there was another three hours. Son of a bitch. But, yeah, yeah, that's it's... frustrating. Yep, Jay did the same thing earlier today. He did it at like noon or 11 a.m. or something like that, and then he was like, oh my god. So now I have like yeah. two or three more hours to do, whatever, but yeah. All right, we're going to start but streaming I'll... the raid. Okay. All right, here we go. I'll catch up, and I'll be there with you next time. Right Definitely. on, dude. Sounds awesome. I can't wait. Whenever you want. Word up. All right, buddy. that work? Yeah, we're hosting. All right, I'm going to end this. Oh, my God. How are you, man? Okay. Thanks cool. for having me. No problem, Appreciate dude. It. We'll see you, buddy.